You guys made me do this. I hope you're happy. Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be testing out Fenty makeup. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I didn't actually plan on doing this video at all. I didn't plan on picking up anything from the Fenty line. There wasn't anything that kind of stood out to me that I thought, yes, I need. But on the day of the launch, I was getting so many tweets, so many messages, so many DMs from you guys asking me to do a testing video. So I hopped on over to Harvey Nichols, which is the website that you can get it here in the UK. And I picked up a few pieces. And a hundred pounds later, here we are. So once what I picked up, I didn't get everything. I skipped out on the primer, powder, and the lip gloss. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of lip gloss, so I thought I'd skip out on that. And also, it only comes in one shade, and it just looks like a nude, shimmery lip gloss to me. So I didn't think it was like revolutionary or anything. And then for the primer and the powder, to be honest, I didn't feel like I needed another primer or powder in my collection. And to be honest, when I'm filming these sort of videos, you're not really gonna be able to tell the difference too much as to how my skin looks with a primer or with a powder. So I mostly focused on the products that you guys will be able to see. So that being said, I of course picked up the Pro Filter Foundation. I got mine in the shade 290, hoping this will be a fairly decent colour match. This was part of the medium shade range, I think. So they have light, medium, tan and deep. Um, and this is part of the medium one, if you guys are wondering. So this was £26, not too crazy. I've definitely spent more on a foundation, but obviously it is a little bit up there in price. But if it works, then £26, I think, is a reasonable price for something you're going to use on your face every day. I also picked up one of the Matchsticks trios. Again, I believe these come in four different shades, so light, medium, tan, and deep. These are just three of like the contouring, highlighting, um, concealer sticks. These kits cost £46, but individually, the actual sticks themselves, which you can buy individually, cost £21. And I did plan on getting two of them, so I thought I may as well pay the extra £4 and get another one to show you guys. And then, of course, I had to pick up one of the highlighters. I know a lot of you guys were expecting me to pick up the trophy wife one which is like the super gold one that everyone has but I wasn't really feeling it I don't really like gold highlighters that much and I thought it would kind of look a little bit crazy on me so I actually skipped out on that and instead I went for one of the um, freestyle highlighter duos this one is in the shade mean money and hustler baby and if my memory serves me correctly I think these are 26 pounds as well okay so that is all the boring stuff out of the way now it's time to check this on my face. So I have already prepped my skin. I've just used the things that I would use on a regular day. I will leave a link to them down below if you guys are curious. First of all, we are obviously gonna go in with the foundation. So this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Like I said, I have mine in the shade 290. It says to give it a good old shake, so that is what I shall do. In the bottle you get 32ml of product. Normally foundations generally give you around about 30ml, so a little bit more than usual. It also has a pump, which is great. Let's take some on the back of my hand. Hopefully this is a decent color. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a sponge. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is quite liquidy. It's just like running down my hand. Let's just take this on a sponge quickly. Ooh, I feel like that could actually be a good color. Good job, Steph. That's actually the perfect colour and damn that has got coverage. I think I might actually just do half of my face quickly just so you guys can see the coverage in comparison. That's got some serious coverage, I'll give it that. It is quite matte so I wouldn't powder this down too much. Yeah I like this. I used probably about a pump and a half of that and it's done half of my face although I could probably blend it out to do the majority of my face if I wanted to. Oh, I think we're oxidising a little bit. So take that into consideration maybe, maybe go like down a shade or something. I just popped a pump there and as you guys can see, that's it when it comes out of the pump and then that's it when it oxidizes. So it does oxidize, be warned. But yeah, so far I'm actually very impressed with this foundation. I am using a fair bit of product. I don't know if it's just the sponge soaking everything up but I've used these sponges before and they work fine with other foundations. Let's get that right under the eyes. You can see it really does cover up a lot which is what your girl likes. I like a cake face. Sue me. Yeah, I really, really like this foundation. It is definitely more of a matte finish, but there's still like a glow to my skin, so I'm not too bothered about it being matte. I normally hate matte foundations because they make my face look like just one block of color, whereas this kind of, it still has a glow like around the high points of my face. It just kind of looks like skin really, and I'd say this is a medium to full coverage foundation. I wonder if it's buildable at all. Let's let's experiment. Let's like chuck a little bit more on this side of my face or something. Right, looking at it, there is a lot of coverage on my skin right now, but 
it doesn't really feel like I've got a heavy coverage foundation on my skin. Yeah, it builds up nicely as well. So you can get like a super full coverage. It builds, but it doesn't like change the texture at all on your skin. To be honest, you probably wouldn't even really need concealer with this because it does just cover up everything. I am obviously gonna conceal, you know me, but you could definitely get away without it and still do like a full glam look. Yeah, I'm really not mad about this foundation at all. If you guys want a new full coverage foundation, obviously it does oxidize, so just be wary about that when choosing your colors. Um, but other than that, this is spot on. Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to the matchsticks. These, by the way, are magnetic. How cool is that? Instantly like 10 points to Gryffindor for that packaging. So like I said, individually, these are 21 pounds each. So I was actually gonna pick up the shade Bamboo and the shade Mocha, and then I realized that if I got the trio, it would cost me an extra four quid, and I'd also get one of the cream highlighters as well. So yeah, what I have here is a matte match stick. So this one is in the shade Bamboo, so it's kind of like a highlighting concealer shade. I've got another matte one. This one is in the shade Mocha. So this is like a contouring shade. And then we have one of the shimmer sticks in the shade Trippin. This is just like a highlighter. Let's give this a little swatch. Ooh, I was expecting that to kind of be like way too dark for me just because of how it looks. But that's like a fully like rose golden highlight. I'll do a slightly bigger swatch so you guys can see. And I've got to say, like no product is coming off of this. Like I'm not wearing the product down at all. So I don't know if you guys can see it just there, but as you might be able to see, it looks a lot darker in the stick, but on the skin, it kind of has like a rose gold reflect. So yeah, I'm really happy I got that. So what I'm gonna do is take the shade Bamboo and I'm gonna use that as a concealer and we'll just see if it covers up much. If not, we'll use it as like a matte highlight. Doesn't feel too creamy, which I like because it means you're not gonna use up as much product. I haven't tried them before, but from seeing like the Kim Kardashian contour sticks, they run out in like three uses and you don't get a lot of product. By the way, let's have a look. Ugh. It's okay. So you don't get a crazy amount of product, but you definitely do get more than some other brands. I know, for example, like the NYX Wonder Stick, which is like a double-ended contour stick, um, you get less in that than you do here. So you get just over seven grams. Judging by how pigmented they are, I mean, just like running it over my hand, it's really not making a dent in the product at all. So I think this will last you a fairly long time. Yeah, this definitely has some coverage to it. I mean, it's not like the most amazing concealer I've ever tried, but it doesn't really claim to be a concealer. I think it is mostly like a matte cream highlighter, but you definitely can conceal with it. That's kind of like a demi matte finish as well. It's like matte and you do need to powder it slightly, but you really wouldn't need to powder it too much, I don't think. And you do still have like a nice little glow to the skin. As you can see my lights kind of bouncing off my cheekbones there. It's not like a fully chalky matte or anything. Yeah, I do quite like that. I don't feel like you would need it because again, it's not like a concealer or anything. Um, and I often find I don't tend to use light matte highlighters or anything. So I don't feel like you would need that as such. But if you guys did want like these two or something, then it's definitely worth paying like the extra four pounds for the trio so you can get that one. Yeah, so far, so good. Oh, what is this? Is there a little bit of patchiness I see? That wasn't there five minutes ago. Yeah, it's ever so slightly patchy here, which is strange because I don't have any dry patches there or anything. That kind of part of my face is just pretty normal to be honest. Then I'm gonna go in with the matte stick in the shade Mocha. So this is like the contouring one. And I'm gonna draw in some cheekbones. And I think I'm gonna blend that out first. I'm not gonna draw it all in. Maybe that was the problem before. Is that just me or is that not blending out? <gasps> it's picking up the foundation underneath. Let's try a brush maybe. Okay, draw that in. Let's try again. It's looking a little bit patchy. I mean, it's a nice color, but still that section is just kind of looking a bit patchy. I'm just gonna draw that in. Again, it's not taking off too much product, which is good. I feel like I prefer this with a brush. It doesn't really seem to blend out as well with a sponge. Yeah, see, that's a bit better. What's going on with this side? Anyway, we will prevail. So I'm just gonna 
contour around my forehead a little bit. See how that goes. Yeah, these are really, really pigmented, so you don't actually need a lot of product, which is cool. I feel like maybe it's my skin playing me because everywhere else at the moment looks quite nice. And then next we're gonna go in with the Trippin Cream Highlighter. So I think I'm just gonna apply that to the tops of my cheekbones first and just kind of tap that in. I'm not really seeing much, to be quite honest with you. Maybe I'll use it as like a blush. I guess it's added like a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks, but it's not really showing up that much. I feel like this maybe isn't a highlighter as such. Maybe it literally is just like a blusher. I do really like these, but I'm not wowed. Um, I definitely feel like the foundation is better than the matchsticks. Um, I think you can get like a cream contour and all that sort of stuff on the drugstore that's like better or the same for a cheaper price. Um, they are nice, just don't think they're a must have. I'm actually gonna quickly set my under eyes and do a little bit of powdering, nothing too crazy. I'm just using the RCMA No Color. Okay, let's see how this looks with the powder. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Obviously it looks a little bit more matte when you do powder it down, but it hasn't like changed the texture on my skin at all. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Again, it is very, very full coverage, so it's not gonna be like a natural look or anything. Yeah, I do really, really like that foundation. All right, you guys, now it is the time we have all been waiting for. It's time to get onto the highlighting part of the video. So, like I said, I have one of the Freestyle Highlighting Duos. Ooh, I like this packaging. And let's just have a look. If I can get it open. Ooh. Look at that one. <gasps> this one here, that's Hustler Baby. And this one is Mean Money. That one looks a little bit less intense. That's Mean Money. Still nice though. Let's just pop that here. This is the one I've got my eye on. Like this is nice, but it's very, very subtle. This is a bit more in your face. So like I said, that was Hustler Baby. To be honest, this color here was the one that actually sold me on getting this duo. I was originally gonna get Trophy Wife, but like I said, bit too gold for me. And the only other single that they do is like super, super icy, a bit too pale for me, I think. So I think what I'm gonna do first of all is just take my usual Zoeva Luxe Powder Fusion Brush. I'm gonna take the light one first and just do it here maybe and see what it can do. Yeah, I'm not like dying over this one. You can see it's just like a really, really subtle glow. Perfect if you do like a subtle glow. But you guys know this is the one that I'm after. Not really too much kickback at all. Let's see. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Oh, that's actually way better on the skin than I was expecting it to be. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay, if you guys want to glow, Hustler Baby is the way forward. Because boy, oh boy, is that glowing. Uh, Rihanna, if you just so happen to be watching my video, first of all, really big fan, love your music. Um, can you please come out with a single of this? Because I'm kind of obsessed. You know what, I'm actually gonna try that out as an eyeshadow as well. We'll just see how we go. I wanna be glowing to the gods. Oh my God. That works perfectly as an eyeshadow as well. It doesn't look chalky. It's sitting on top of everything really, really nicely. That is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit of my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer in the crease. That is an eye look and a half. Like, that is so easy, but it looks so, so good. Love this. Okay, so now we've calmed down, just look at this glow. Just look at what is happening on my face right now. It's very rare I get this excited about highlighters, but this is a very, very nice highlighter. This one, not the one over here, scrap that. This highlighter on this side, very good. I'm not gonna quickly go off camera, do my brows, add some mascara, put something on my lips, and I will check back with you guys in a second. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. Just thought I'd add a bit of a fun lip since everything else is fairly simple. I'll leave a link to that down below if you guys are curious. Let's have a little rundown of everything we tried today. So, first of all, the foundation. Love this stuff. Now looking at my skin, actually, nothing looks overly patchy anymore, so maybe, I don't know, it blended out with the oils in my skin or something, maybe the powder helped, who knows, but I love this stuff. 
Oxidizes like a bitch, but once you know that, just make sure you get like a color lighter or something and you are good. It's super full coverage. It's quite like a, a matte, but still kind of glowy. So you don't have like oils as such in your skin. It is a very matte formula. But your skin does still kind of look like skin through the foundation, if that makes sense. Really, really love this. Definitely gonna be using this on like more full coverage days because I love it. Next, let's talk a little bit about the matchsticks. Now, to be honest, this is probably the biggest disappointment out of everything that I tried. I did like the mocha shade. This is like the contouring shade. I liked that a lot. Trippin, which is like the sort of blush highlighter shade, didn't really do much for me. Like it swatched really nicely and I was so excited about how this was gonna look, but I don't know, it doesn't really show up that much. It did add a tiny, tiny bit of color. But if you were to buy this on its own, I'd say 21 quid, not worth it. For the four pounds that I got it for in the kit, if that makes sense, then I don't know. Even then, I'm still probably not gonna use this, so it is a little bit of a waste of money. Then we'll talk about the um, bamboo shade, which is like the sort of concealer for me. I feel like this is more of a matte cream highlight than a concealer. You can, by all means, use it as a concealer, and it is quite nice, um, but I wouldn't say it's better than any of my other concealers. Definitely not better for 21 pounds. So if you do like using a matte cream highlighter when you do contour, I would say this is a really, really good option. My favorite out of all of them has to be the actual contouring shade. I feel like it just shows up more than the other ones and it blends out really nicely i just think this is probably one of the better ones out of the three that i've tried out of all of them we'll probably skip on the shimmer sticks and then we'll um we'll discuss this guy this guy like i'm not even bothered about it. to me doesn't even exist this is what i am interested in i mean you guys saw me slather this on my face it's such a nice highlight honestly it's it's one of the best highlights I've come across in a little while. I mean, it's so ridiculously pigmented. It doesn't look powdery on the skin at all. It actually has more of like a wet finish formula. It's so, so insanely pigmented. It's such a nice color and it doesn't really look like anything on the skin. It kind of has more of like a wet finish than anything else. I actually just want to add a little bit to my body as well because I just cannot get enough of this stuff. Obviously the only downside is the fact that it comes in a duo and this guy, it's a bit sheer. To be honest, it doesn't really look like anything when you actually put it on the skin. It's kind of like more of a light diffusing powder. So you could probably use it as that, I guess. As you all know, I'm a bit of a highlighter freak. So I would actually say this is worth the 26 pounds. Even if you guys aren't gonna use this at all, just for this pan alone, I think it's such an amazing highlight. If Rihanna comes out with singles of these highlighters, then Hustler Baby is the way to go. It's amazing. All right, you guys, so those are my thoughts on Fenty makeup. Overall, big thumbs up. Maybe the price point is a little bit high for the matchsticks just because they weren't anything amazing that I hadn't seen already on the drugstore. But the foundation and the highlighter, you know the one I'm talking about, massive, massive thumbs up and I definitely think they're worth the money. But as for the foundation and this little guy here, so, so impressed. Definitely recommend you check those out. As always, you guys, let me know what you think of this makeup in the comment section down below and let me know if you're gonna be picking up any Fenty makeup. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.